Hello dear students, welcome back to the online class of Mahali Government College. I hope you are keeping safe and sound at your home. Dear students, as you see on the screen, today our topic of discussion is appreciating poems. And in my today's lecture, we will have a discussion on what is theme, on what is summary. Then we will also know the difference between theme and summary. I will also instruct you how to write a theme perfectly. Then we will read out a poem and write down the theme and summary of the poem. Dear students, try to listen to this lecture very attentively. I hope you will be able to learn so many things about, um, about theme or summary and also about uh, poem. So dear students, let's move to the next slide. Dear students, uh, in your examinations, uh, you are generally asked to write a theme of a poem or a uh, story but I have experienced that most of the time you end up writing a uh, summary while you are actually asked to write a theme. Uh, this happens because you don't have a very clear idea on theme or summary and you don't know the difference between these two things. That's why uh, in my today's lecture I will show you what is uh, the difference between these two things. So first of all let's know what is a theme? Theme. The theme in a poem or a story or any kind of literary work is the deep underlying or hidden message that the poet or author wants to convey to the reader. So uh, you see, I have uh, written it clearly here that a theme uh, is basically a hidden or underlying message that the poet or the author wants to uh, convey to the readers. The theme is actually uh, is hidden inside the literary work. Right. So uh, see, in other words, we can say the theme is the main idea of any poem or literary piece. So a theme is actually a main idea or the central idea of a poem or a story or any kind of literary work. Then a single piece of writing may sometimes have more than one theme so this is a very important uh, important uh, point to be noted that a single piece of literary work may have more than one theme why let's see that means a poem or a story may have different themes according to the different perspectives of the reader look at the phrase different perspectives of the readers uh, so uh, the readers have their own mind they have their own faculty of thinking that's why they, they actually develop their own theme of a poem or a story that's why i say that a single piece of writing may sometimes have more than one theme so dear students i hope you got the definition of theme very well so uh, let's know what is a summary Summary. A summary is a short or abridged version of a literary work. It simply retells the main plot of a poem or a story or any literary piece without going into the depth of it. A summary contains the main points of the text without any personal opinion of the reader. So, you see the definition of summary is very clear that a summary is basically a compressed or short version of any long literary work you no need to go uh, into the depth of that poem or story you simply have to rewrite the main points po uh, main points of the story or the poem in your own words and here in summary you don't have the right to put your own opinion so here is the basic difference between a theme and a summary in a theme you can put your own opinion you can express your own opinion but in case of summary you don't have that right so i hope you got uh, the difference between two things and uh, from today on you will not mix up these two things dear students i have already told you that in your examinations in your you are generally uh, asked to write a theme of a poem so that's why uh, in my today's lecture i have focused much on writing a theme and to write a theme you have you need to know a certain basic things what are the things i have pointed out those important things on my lecture you see on the screen how to write a theme 
read the given poem or story very carefully again and again so this is the first important thing you have to keep in your mind that you have to read the poem or the given story uh, very carefully again and again this is the first important point then see try to understand the meaning and subject matter of the poem so the second important point is you have to try to understand the meaning and the subject matter of the given poem or the story then try to get the message of the poem that the poet wants to deliver so dear students i have already told you that the, the theme is basically the hidden or underlying message that that the poet or the author wants to deliver to the uh, uh, to the reader so you have to try to get or understand that hidden message then make your writing short and meaningful you should limit your write up within 50 words so this is a very important point that you have to make your writing short definitely you have to make your writing short and you have to try to make it meaningful and in your uh, in the question paper you will be given instructions to uh, limit your writing within 50 words so you have to keep this very important thing in your mind then avoid unnecessary words and phrases so this is also important that uh, while writing a theme you 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 no need to uh, write unnecessary words or unnecessary phrases so dear students these are the important points that you have to keep in your mind while writing a theme and if you follow this instruct instructions in the examination i hope you will be able to write a very perfect theme so dear students let's move to the next slide so dear students, at the beginning of this class, I have told you that I will be discussing a poem uh, in my today's lecture. Uh, so this is the poem as you see on the screen. But before going through the poem, let me tell you something about this poem. This is a non-textual poem. That means this poem is not uh, taken from your textbook. And this beautiful poem is composed by a famous Victorian poet called Alfred Lord Tennyson. Dear students, in this poem, you will see that the story of a woman is told whose husband has died in a war recently and the dead body has just been uh, brought home. The lady is very much shocked and because of uh, the shock, intensity of the shock, she cannot react. That means she cannot cry. Her maidens gather around her, try to make her cry, adopting these and that means but fail. At the end, you will see that an old experienced nurse uh, takes the child of the lady and puts the child on her lap at this point at this point the lady starts crying so uh, this is the synopsis of this poem so dear students let, let's read the poem in details so write down the theme of the following poem not more than 50 words dear students in the examinations your questions are generally set like this and you will be given instruction not to exceed your writing more than 50 words and in the question paper the name of the poem and uh, the name of the composer of the poem are not generally given uh, dear students let's read the poem home they brought her warrior dead she nor sound nor uttered cry all her maidens watching said she must we or she will Die. Dear students, just try to feel the tune or realize the tune of the poem. The tune is so sad, so grave and so intense. And look at the use of the possessive her warrior. Whose warrior? The warrior of the lady, the husband of the lady, the pillar of the lady. And until uh, today, uh, her husband was actually the only means of her living on earth. And just think. Uh, this only means of her life is no more. The only means of her life has died. Just think what will be the uh, condition, mental condition of the woman and what will be her reaction. See, she not soon, the lady, uh, because of the uh, extreme grief and because of the intensity of melancholy, the lady has actually turned into a stone. She has turned into a, a, an immovable object. That's why she not so. She is not fainted away, or she is not crying at all, and not uttered.
cry. All her maidens watching said, all her maidens means her attendants, her attendants gather uh, around her uh, saying that she must weep, this lady must weep, she must cry or she will die. Or we know that uh, in such a situation, uh, we, we should express our emotion uh, otherwise, uh, it, uh, we will not be able to uh, reduce our grief. So, her maidens in next few stanza you will see that will uh, place up some pricks on, he, uh, on her to make her cry. See? Then they praised him soft and low, called him worthy to be loved, truest friend and noblest foe, yet she neither spoke nor moved. So, the first three her maidens play on her is praising the dead soldier they praised him saying that uh, the they praise the dead soldier saying uh, that he was actually a worthy man a very good man to be loved he was a true friend of people and as an enemy also he was very noble one actually uh, the maidens do all these things just to evoke some emotion on uh, the lady uh, so that the lady can uh, so or express her emotion or the lady can cry but uh, see the reaction of the lady she neither spoke nor moved the lady is as usual she is not expressing any emotion she simply sat like an immovable object Let's see what happens next. Stole a maiden from her place, lightly to the warrior stepped, took the face cloth from the face, yet she neither moved nor wept. See, at this point, one of the maidens slowly moves to the dead soldier, takes a cloth from the face to show the face to the a lady so that the lady can feel some emotion for the uh, for the dead soldier and cry but in this case also see the uh, reaction of the lady she neither moved nor wept even after uh, seeing the face of her dead husband she is not um, showing any reaction she is not crying or she is not expressing any kind of uh, emotion Alright, so dear student, let's see what happens next. Rose a nurse of 90 years set his child upon her knee. Like summer tempest came her tears. Sweet my child, I live for thee. So uh, at the very end you see an old and experienced nurse who have so much experience about life rises up, takes the child of the dead soldier and puts, puts the child on the lap of the lady and at this point the lady cries, she cries like summer tempest, like heavy summer rain, she cries and says, sweet my child, my sweet lovely child, I live for thee, I live, I will not die. I have to leave to take care of you. So dear students, I hope you got this poem uh, very well and I hope you will be uh, able to uh, write your uh, theme perfectly of this poem. And in the next slide, I show you how to write uh, the theme of this poem and I also show you how to write the summary of this poem also. So dear students, let's move to the next slides. So then, sometimes excessive grief turns us into stone. In such situation, we need a reason to live. So these two sentences actually tells the main idea or central idea of the poem that uh, sometimes we, uh, because of the excessive grief, we turn into stone. And to come out of such situation, we need to have, a, we need to find a reason for which will hope to live. So this is the central or main idea or you can say the theme of the 
poem and I have written two more lines to support or to make my theme compact, you see. The poem narrates the story of a woman who is too shocked to cry at the death of her husband. Finally, she starts crying as she cradles her child who turns to be her only reason to live. So dear students, this is how you have to, uh, you have to write uh, the theme of a poem. Let's uh, see how we should write uh, the summary of the same poem. Here in this slide, I will show you how to write the summary of the same poem. See, the poem narr narrates the story of a woman whose husband has died in a war recently and the dead body has just been brought home. The lady becomes intensely shocked and because of the intensity of grief, she cannot express her emotion at all. The maidens around her try to make her weep but fail. Finally, tears downpour from her eyes when her child is put on her lap. You see the summary. I have not uh, actually, uh, I have not actually gone into the uh, depth of the poem. I simply, uh, I, I simply compressed the whole poem, focusing on the main points of the poem. So this is how you have to write the summary. I hope from this summary and the theme I have already discussed in the previous slide, you will be able to understand the difference between a theme and a summary. In a theme, you have to go uh, into the depth of the, um, of the literary piece of, of a poem or a story and you have to, uh, you can uh, express your own opinion but in case of summary, you no need to go into the depth of it. You simply have to uh, focus on the main points and rewrite the uh, long literary piece into a smaller one in, uh, in your own words. So, uh, I think you got to this lecture uh, very well and uh, that's all for today. I will uh, discuss um, a few more poems in my next video classes and up to this that's all for today thank you so much try to stay safe at your home and definitely try to stay connected uh, with our facebook and youtube channel so thank you so much